When I came in, I knew of them doing a lot. Like, I would hear that, oh, he got, he killed Yellow Boy. Oh, yeah, Yellow Boy was rapping for me. You know, because I knew you and Evie. I knew, I knew a lot of people. And I'm talking about Elvin and Birdman. Elvin and Birdman, Elvin was really on the same level with Birdman as far as the streets. Maybe he was a bit more, maybe bigger than Birdman. Birdman more had the music. One of my friends was dating Gangsta. One of them was dating Sterling. Um, Mesquita and Dooney, they were, uh, one of one of our friends was dating Dooney and Mosquito, so everyone was dating someone. So one night we were at a uh, gangster's house and you know, we used to always be there and talk to his mom. Okay, so Stone comes through and he's like, um, you know, he sees me and, and I see him and you know, it was just something about his whole mood and swag, you know, he's just, you know, big dog, you know, so um, he comes through, he's like, oh, you're gonna be Miss Stone. The world knows me from being a healer, but majority know me from being the mother of Killer Stone's only begotten son. Does he, does he have any more children? He does have other kids. Um, there are three that we know. It has been known that he's had more, but um, as far as we know, and as far as paperwork goes, oh yes, it, those are the three. Okay. So, 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 for the first time viewers, never heard of Killer Stone. Who is he? Killer Stone is actually um, Alvin Nelson. He's from Third War Magnolias. I wouldn't call him an original high boy. He is a big timer. He was known, he was with Cash Money, Millionaires, Big Timers. From Big Timers, he went along with uh, D Boys. You know, um, he did write a lot of music for Baby with Cash Money. Um, and he is, you know, he performed, he went on tour with them a lot. He, he you know, he pretty much spent his um, newfound life, which was the rap game. Um, before then, when I previously met him, um, me and a group of young ladies that I used to hang out with in Kenner, we met them in the Magnolia. So we would go and hang out in the Magnolia. One night we were um, standing on the corner of Magnolia and Willow. And they had a group of guys. And it was like, yeah, y'all going by gangsta? And so my friend, she was smart. She was like, no, we ain't going by no gangsta. No, we're not going by no gangsta. And, um, he was like, oh, because I wanted y'all to give him something for me. And my friend was like, what the fuck he wanted us to give to Gangsta a bully? <laughs> I was like, wait. So she was on early, you know, and she knew more of what we was dealing with. So she used to make it reality for me. Like, girl, we is dealing with some killers. This was killers, you know? And we used to be like, oh my God. But at this time, you know, we so far in deep, you know, I think we pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Like. We yeah, pregnant. Bad, bad oh my God! It was like because y'all were drawn to it. I mean, because at any point you could have stopped. Y'all could have left, right? We was intrigued by these guys. I guess by us being from Kenna and they were different. These guys had multiple women, multiple of women, but it was just something about us Kenna girls that was intriguing to them. I got two cribs in Atlanta. Okay. I just remember they all feared this dude. Like, this dude bought some type of fear. Um, first of all, I met them all at a time where they were coming home from juvenile jail. So all of them had done, I think Elvin had done juvenile life or whatever. He was coming home with that gangster head. All of them had juvenile life, I believe. He would always tell me, you know, how he had it hard, you know what I'm saying? He didn't really have nothing and, you know, he used to do all of these horrible things. And I used to more get those stories because, of course, I have the son. His only son. See, when I came home from jail and Elvin was riding, doing this cash money stuff, and I'm seeing you really play sucker sucker in this situation like you play hard to the streets but in this situation right here you you being robotted like a woman like i ain't know if it was black magic or uh, uh, been no one but me candles or uh, 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 what they was putting on him or feeding them you understand what i'm saying but he wasn't in this in the situation with 
the children and being a father and knowing you didn't make kids, you're not standing that man that you want to stand in these streets. When I saw him riding that bus and, and going on tour and doing all this and sometimes telling me to come get money and oh, the check bounced and all of these stories I had to hear about these checks bouncing and the money all waiting on this one to give you money now. Now you waiting on this you one to keep. Check that was coming from where? From I cash money, I guess, baby, or whoever was paying him. Yeah, uh, to me, like I've always known, and like he's always said, really and truly, he was dealing with Slim, cause Slim was the mastermind behind cash money. So, Elvin and Birdman. Elvin was really on the same level with Birdman as far as the streets. Maybe he was a bit more, maybe bigger than Birdman. Birdman more had the music over Elvin. So by Elvin, at first they were more to me rivals from the beginning. You understand? Because when I came in, I knew of them doing a lot. Like I would hear that, oh, he got, he killed Yellow Boy. Oh yeah, right, Yellow Boy was rapping for me. You know, cause I knew you and Elvin, I knew, I knew a lot of people, you know? So we, we would be around me and the, the ladies that I sang with and we would be around a lot of different people. So we would hear a lot of different stuff. And like, we would be around Yellow Boy and got fed and uh, Tech Nine and them and then Yellow Boy got killed and it was said that this one killed it. You know, and, and then we always knew like me, always having knowledge i know that uh when people in a rap game or whatever there's insurance that's involved after elvin died i didn't go like all of his so-called closest ones to him i'm talking about wacko black hot all the ones that used to be right there with him not one of them reached out to me. Now I'm the only one with the son. Now I see them do for the for the girls from a distance, which they did. Cash Money offered my son a deal after Elvin first died. I've been the brain behind my son. Okay. I told my son, you're not signing with no cash money, because first of all, <laughs> your daddy, you see what happened to your daddy? You understand what I'm saying? Your daddy rode the bus with him. Did all of this with him. He took all your song, daddy's songs. He gave one to Juvenile. That was, I'm about to bounce back. Bounce, bounce, bounce. That's why you hear Stone in the background. If you listen to it, you hear Stone. That was Stone song. He took that song and gave it to Juvenile. And that's why a lot of songs, some music that Lag did and all that. All, they was doing all the hot music and he would take them and skip over them and spread their music and give it to this one or rap their music itself or whatever he was doing. Was okay. Stone in need of money at the time? All right. I guess they was putting all their, they had them put all their drug money into the music. You understand what I'm saying? So of course they was looking for a return on their investment. And the, the checks was bouncing or whatever was going on. It wasn't get, it wasn't how they was getting how he was getting it before, put it that way. Which always kept him in the street. That's how he ended up getting indicted way later and ended up dying in federal prison after certain things he told me came up like.